Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, this is a little strange, but I have another uh, card on opening as well as uh, an unboxing of something. But first off, let me explain why that's weird. Uh, this is actually tomorrow's mail. One of the benefits of being postal. Um, <laughs> I had to help with uh, something work-related and happened to have seen the mail there for tomorrow and just picked out some stuff. So, this is uh, three things that was supposed to come tomorrow, but I have it now. It's Sunday. I'm just going to open it now since I'm already doing this unboxing. It's all kind of related. Uh, first, let's do the letters. Uh, knife of Choice is the Spyderco Sage, which I've been uh, EDCing today. And let's get started. Well, first, let's do this little envelope here. This is from uh, no return address at all. It just says. Um, Christmas. So, let's give this a little, little slice of Rooney there. And let's see what's inside here. Ooh. Let's see. Okay. Just trying to be careful not to show any addresses or anything. Huh. This is cool. We'll have to read the, the notes, see what's, what that's all about. Let's put the knife back there, save something to look at while I'm looking at this note. Oh, cool. Here's the note. They are two Zippo belt holders made on December 6, 2010. Enjoy. Well, that's cool. Some colored duct tape. And there, they hold Zippos. That's pretty neat. It's got a little belt loop on the back, looks like. Yeah, how about that? There's a, I think there's actually a book on different projects to do with uh, with duct tape. Actually, let me grab a Zippo right now and test it out. I happen to have the uh, police one here on display. There's one of those uh, display flames, which I'll do a separate video on. Let's take that out for a second here, though. And test it out. Pretty cool. Thanks. That's really neat. This kind of stuff. Look, this one even has my name on it. This kind of stuff, I'll uh, I save. Uh, I'm not going to use something like this because, well, first off, when I carry my Zippo, uh, I have the Maritac pouch that I kind of <laughs> uh, invented specifically for you know what I wanted in a Zippo carrier. But uh, this stuff really means a lot to me. So I actually have uh, a shelf of some things that have been have been sent to me and. You know, just the time and effort that goes into making stuff like that is really cool. So, I'll definitely save those. So, thank you so much. Let's see. Let me open this up. See if there's more. Note. Yes, there is. Okay. Merry Christmas, Cutlery Lover. Hope you like my gift. It is handmade by me. There is only two in existence. Well, two existent. Hope you like it. There is two so you can alternate between the two. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. P.S. Sorry you <laughs> were electrocuted. Oh, that's funny. I mentioned that in my um, uh, Christmas lights video, and actually someone corrected me. Uh, to say you're electrocuted means you were you died by electrocution. So that was actually interesting. And the person who said that to me taught me something because I I've always used that term. If you got shocked, you really should say I got shocked. If you say I got electrocuted, that means you're no longer living. And I thought, well, that doesn't sound right. And I looked it up, and sure enough, he's right. I was absolutely wrong. So, no, I was never electrocuted because I wouldn't be making this video if I was, but I was shocked. Anyway, uh, this is from Alex. Thank you, Alex. There's your screen name. If anyone wants to go check them out, check them out. And like I said, I'm not going to be using these simply because when I do carry Zippos, I have the, uh, the Maritech case. But um, I really appreciate the thought and the time you uh, put into making them, so I will save them. So, thank you so much, and Merry Christmas to you and your family. Put those right there. Whoop. Might have blurred that out. I think I showed an address, but anyway. This next one is from ooh, Air Mail. Royal Mail. So I'm guessing just somewhere in the UK. Uh, let's see. Don't want to cut what's inside, so let's just do a little, little nip at the top there.
Well, that's enough. Don't always need your knives. I prefer to use them, but you don't always need them. Anyway, all right. Nothing else in there. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this is from Charlie. Hey Jeff, uh, I just wanted to send you a letter to say how much I appreciate your videos and Merry Christmas, providing this gets there in time. By the way, it's come all the way from England. Okay, so England, that's where the, you know, it was Royal Mail. Uh, me and my friends love your videos, me especially. I can always look forward to your videos no matter how long they are. Thanks to keep up the videos, or keep the videos coming from Charlie. And there's Charlie's screen name. Full Force Airsoft. And happy face. Thank you, Charlie. I really appreciate the letter. And it's cool. I love getting uh, all kinds of mail from around the world. So, all the way from England. Thank you so much. And Merry Christmas to you and your family and your friends. Thanks for watching the videos. I appreciate it. Even the long ones. <laughs> I think sometimes, sometimes people watch the videos and they may like it. But if it's long, halfway through, they're like, ugh. And they just shut it off. Which may be right at this point. <laughs> Some people probably shut this video off just before I said that. Anyway, next one here is from Texas, from Jeremy. All right, Jeremy, let's see what we got in here. Love a sharp knife. Absolutely love it. Okay. Here, nice card. Is, I hope you haven't been wiping your nose on the curtains. You're not at home now, you know. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. Oh, dude. <laughs> Look at this. We got uh, some lottery tickets, looks like. Wow. That's really cool. All right, I'm going to have to... Uh, we got three of them here. Oh, man. They smell like peppermint. Oh, duh. It says it right in the front, peppermint scented. That is really, really cool. That was a really nice surprise. I'll tell you what, if I can win up to $30,000, if I win $30,000, I will give you $29,000. How's that sound? I'll keep a grand just for my troubles <laughs> of having to scratch it. No, I'm just kidding. If I, if I win that much money, of course, I'm going to have to send you most of it, if not all of it. But this was really, really cool. Thank you so much. I love lottery tickets, as you guys saw my my older video where I said that it was kind of an addiction for a while. But that was really nice. Thank you so much. Let me read the card here. It says, thank you for the many hours of entertaining and educational videos you have put out for us this year. I hope you have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Birthday, and a Great New Year. I wish you good health, personal blessings, more videos, and double the subscribers in 2011. Take care, Jeremy. YouTube.com. Oh, and there's his, looks like, Germlac, J-E-R-M-L-A-C. I believe that's what that is, his uh, screen name. It says, P.S. Enjoy the Texas scratch-offs. <laughs> I certainly will. And look, he even added happy birthday in there. Thank you, Jeremy. That was really, really cool you. Like I said, just a really neat surprise. I do love scratch-off tickets. Even if I don't win, it's entertaining for me. So that was really nice. Thank you so much. And the last thing is a box here. And this box is, um, this was sent for Christmas. You can see who it's from, Oscar. I left the thing on there, so I remembered Illinois. And here's his screen name, M-R-O-G-A-R-C-I-A-1990. Uh, and uh, he sent me a message after the package came, and he said, you can open it before Christmas. And I said, well, isn't it for a Christmas present? And he said, well, no, actually, there's a Christmas present, a birthday present, and just a here-you-go present. So that's why I'm opening it, is to open the here-you-go present. So I'm actually going to stop the video just for a second here because I'm almost at my uh, 10 minutes and I don't want it to stop in the middle of it. Alright guys, I'm back. Just wanted to stop, like I said, the camera just to make sure that it doesn't accidentally uh, shut off on me in the middle of this. So here we go. Yeah, it's not the easiest way to open the box, but sure is the fun, fun way. Alright. Wow, look at this. <laughs> We have, oh my god, I even wrapped everything. Dude, <laughs> this is really cool of you. Uh, I guess this is the Christmas present. Of course, that's pretty obvious there. Let's see. This would be, 
Uh, hmm. I guess that's for my birthday. That's really cool. And there's even something else here. Well, another Christmas present, but I'll pick one of them and open them. Let me just see what else is in the box. We got a note here. We even have festive Christmas tissue paper. Look at that. Of years and years and years of opening packages, things are wrapped up in plastic bags, toilet paper, paper towels. That was definitely the nicest packaging I've ever had. So, you should feel good about that. Alright, so, let's see. I guess we'll open this one for right now, the number three package. And we'll save, of course, this for our Christmas video. And look, I got something for my birthday now. So, very, very cool. I'll put these off to the side here. Those will be a surprise. I'll have to wait for those. And let me read the note first. It says, Dear Jeff, Thank you for the awesome videos and the countless hours of entertainment. Watching your vids has really helped me learn more about knives. It has also helped me learn to buy better knives. This is just some thank you gifts showing my appreciation that, that are numbered in order. <laughs> you can open number one now, number two for your birthday, and number three for Christmas. Okay, so this one has to wait for Christmas. And I guess this is number one here. Oh, my wash is done. All right. And that's it. Uh, keep the videos coming. Sincerely, Oscar. Thank you so much, Oscar. That was uh, really cool. Like I said, I didn't even know you could go through the trouble of actually wrapping things like, you know, like regular presents. That was just really, really neat of you. So here is number one. Let's let's open it up. Gotta be careful with this. Let's see what we got here. Frost Cutlery Collectible Miniature Series. Oh, dude, is this gonna be a set of miniatures? Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> look how cool this is. We have Pink Lip Mother of Pearl here. We have uh, two Abalone and one White Mother of Pearl, looks like. This is really, really cool. Look how tiny these things are. I've actually, uh, I've always had an appreciation for miniatures. And I wanted to get into collecting them. And there's actually, I, something I really wanted for a long time, but I never bought it because it was like $25 was uh, it's the penny knife or coin knife. I'm sure you guys have seen it. You know, Bud K had it at some point. Uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works sells it. Basically, it's a penny, and then they laser etch a little knife out of it and actually put handle scales on it. But the whole knife is completed, and it's in like a little display case with the penny. Um, in fact, if you happen to have that knife, make a video response to this. But look at this. Look how cool this is. Teeny tiny little slip joint. Should I put this in my EDC? <laughs> Believe it or not, it's a functional knife, you know? Just because it's small doesn't mean it doesn't cut anything. Here, I'll give you a cut demo. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. And each one has a little keychain on it. If you wanted to, you can make a little pendant out of it or put it on your keys. That is really, really cool. That was so nice of you. And that's not even it. You got two other things for me. I can't imagine what they can be. But thank you so much. That was a really, really nice gift. This will be in my uh, collection for a very, very long time. Those are really, really cool. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. All right. I guess that uh, concludes the video. I'm going to uh, shut the camera off here and play with my little knives some more. Of course, do some scratch-off tickets and put this stuff with the other things. It's just killing me. I can't wait to, to see what everything is. But uh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to be patient. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. As always, I really appreciate it. And Merry Christmas to everyone who's watching. I keep saying that because it's not Christmas yet. And I feel like I don't know if I'm going to do another video before Christmas. Uh, as far as opening the, all the packages and stuff, I'm thinking maybe it's either pro it's probably going to be Christmas Eve. I'll, I'll make the video and post it right away. Uh, or possibly the day before. Or it might be the day after Christmas. It'll be around Christmas, but obviously on Christmas Day, I have actually a lot going on. Uh, besides being with the family, uh, later in the day, I have um, a couple parties I'm going to. Uh, I'm actually going to go out to dinner uh, with some friends. 
and uh, just a lot going on. So I know I'm not gonna have time on Christmas Day to make the video, but uh, I'll certainly uh, make time for it right before or right after. But anyway, thanks again, everyone. It's just, it's so cool. I really can't express that enough. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. All right, guys, I'm back for a second. I uh, just want to show you a close-up of these knives uh, in the macro mode, which uh, wasn't actually working, so I'm probably going to end up using the old loop again. But uh, I was wrong about the the first glance. It looked like uh, two different kinds of abalone, but it's not. It's actually, uh, on the left is the white lip mother of pearl. Then this one is a black lip mother of pearl. Then we have the abalone. Then we have the uh, pink lip mother of pearl. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to attempt the macro mode here. All right. Once we get too much light, then it goes out of focus. But anyway, it's gonna be hard to tell the pink, but absolutely beautiful. All right, <laughs> one more thing before you go. Um, I just I know people would ask me if I won anything, so I just wanted to show that I didn't win anything here. But they were a heck of a lot of fun to scratch off, and uh, it smells great now, like peppermint. Good thing I have some uh, candy canes because now I'm hungry for one. And that's it. Just wanted to <laughs> include this as well because, like I said, I want to prevent any of the comments. Hey, did you win anything on those scratch offs? Would have been nice if I won $30,000, but that's just life. But that's okay. It was a lot of fun scratching them. Like I said, it was a really, really cool, neat surprise to, uh, to find those in the card. So, thanks again. Take care, guys.